Clue Network. To edify, to encourage, to upskill. This is Christian Life Upskill with Ifai of Okwa. Subscribe now. Hi, welcome to Clue, Christian Life Upskill. My name is Ifai Okwa. In this video, I want to be sharing very briefly. <coughs> on a very sensitive topic i believe is good to talk about you know um because it's an area of struggle that a lot of people have found themselves in and <clears throat> it's good to talk about it to bring a um, scriptural perspective to um what it is you know and because there's a lot of divide over whether it is right wrong and all that you know and that is the subject of masturbation you know um my attempt in this video is not to share with us how to stop it i might have to do another video to talk about that in this video i just want to bring a scriptural perspective as to why it is wrong you know why it is wrong and i'm going to bring one or two scriptures to back my point you know and it's so important for us to listen to what i have to say about this you know some years ago about nine years ago a man of God was asked on a live TV on the subject of masturbation and he was asked if it was if it was a sin you know and he said it wasn't he, he, he said masturbation was not mentioned in the Bible now the way he answered that question I don't know why there was so much reaction on the social media about his answer there was nothing wrong with, his, with the answer because he said there was no way in the Bible where it was written categorically that masturbation was a sin and it's true and he don't want further to say if your heart is condemning you about something it means you should stop that thing so he's in another way trying to bring correction if your heart is saying something is wrong then stop it in the first john 3 verse 20 says if my heart condemns me god is greater than my heart and knows all things so in other words when my heart is judging me about something it means it's wrong you know so he went for that to say it's not written anywhere in the Bible categorically, you know. But if your heart is judging you about something, then maybe you should stop it. This was all that is summarized. Um, you know, there was so much reaction on the social media. A lot of insults was flying everywhere, and I was shocked at our generation how we twist matter. And the truth is that masturbation was not written in the Bible categorically, you know. Um, I don't know somewhere or the other. I don't know why it wasn't written in the Bible because when you when you read when you study history painting you know painting of of design of two thousand years ago four thousand years ago you will see a lot of um, painting that depicted masturbation that depicted homosexuality that depicted bestiality you see a lot of painting that depicted those things masturbation homosexuality and all that ancient painting as far back as the days of pharaoh and all that you know so why the bible did not categorically mention it we don't know you know but but the truth is that we we can begin to use scriptural perspective to answer some of these questions you know and because of this um thing because of the fact that this thing was not categorically mentioned we with there was a man of god years ago I was reading a book, I saw his book. Uh, his name is Ernest Angley. He's a preacher in Ohio. I think Columbus, Ohio now. He's late now. He's going to be with God. You know, and he, he he wrote a book and said that masturbation was not a sin. And one of the reasons why he, he was strong about it was because he said it was not written in the Bible. You know, so there has been a lot of divide concerning this subject. And the truth is that it wasn't written in the Bible categorically. You know, so, but in terms of painting, I've seen painting that depicted those things. You know, so it's so important to know some of these things. You know, but I will begin to answer this question by saying that even though masturbation was not written categorically in the Bible, for you to masturbate, you have to see some other ways to masturbate. You have to use your imagination. You have to be lustful. You have to have an image on your on your eyes. You have to, you know get stirred up 
by one magazine, one book or the other. So even though you're telling us that it is not a sin, the act itself is not a sin, but the truth is that you have to sin some other way to masturbate. So which makes it a sin at the end of the day? So you have to lost in your mind, you have to have wide imagination, you have to read some some wide wide books, you know, um, movies and all that that stirs hormone. You know, so these things, you know, is sin. They 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 are unclean. So so even though you're telling us that it is not a sin, you have to sin some other ways to masturbate. Hallelujah, which makes it wrong. Your body is a temple of God. You know, I also want to add by saying that the Bible condemns masturbation by the things it permits. So because over the years, man have been able to invent ways of creating new sin. So because of this, Bible have been able to categorize them. So by the things the Bible condemns, you can tell what it permits. For example, Bible says that your body is the temple of God and it went further to one that anybody that defies the body, he says God will destroy. So if your body is a temple of God and Bible is saying that if you defile your body, God will destroy you, whoever does that. So that tells you that anything you do to, to defile your body is wrong. You know, so by the thing, by the things that Bible permits you can tell what it does not permit hallelujah we also read the book of hebrew chapter 13 verse 4 where paul the writer of the book of hebrew says that marriage is honorable in all but on the fire he says adulterers and womongers god will judge i love the way trust, uh, the passion translation puts it like it's so very beautiful you know he says honor the sanctity of marriage Keep the vows of purity to one another. For God will judge sexual immorality in any form, whether single or married. So you can see here the stance of God concerning marriage, concerning sexual activity. So sexual activity in the confinement of a marriage between a man and a woman is considered sacred. So any sexual activity outside the confinement of marriage between a man and a woman bible says it is wrong so if you if you're going to have you get involved in sexual activity it's not be between a man and a woman just like the bible says and it says anything outside of this is wrong so by the things bible permits now you can tell that it is wrong to masturbate you see because when you're masturbating you're doing it alone so it's not in the confinement of a man and a woman being engaged in it. It is outside the confinement. And the Bible says it is wrong. So, so through this, you can begin to locate yourself and know that you're wrong. You know? And I also want to act, add this by saying, especially for men, you know, we, we have been so much um, invaded with a lot of nudity. And this has really consumed a lot of men. And you find men thinking why a lot of fantasies when it has to do with sexual activity so they expect a lot from their wife thinking that their wife is those some of those women they see on magazine or on videos you know so when they want to engage in sexual activity with their wife they, they come up with stuffs that are so wide and animalistic and i want to say this if you are engaging with sexual activity with your wife try to find out what she's comfortable with if she's not comfortable with some of the things you are coming with in bed, maybe you should stop. Because Bible also talks about the place of honor for the wife. So you must honor your wife and find out what she's comfortable with in bed. So don't, don't, don't bombard your mind with those lustful videos and all that. And then you have so much expectation on the bed, you know, and you start treating her like an animal, which is not, which is very, very wrong. So you must, you must also be. Be able to communicate with your wife and find out the things she's comfortable with. Hallelujah. You see, because marriage is sacred, sex also is sacred, and we must do it with purity. Hallelujah. So you, you don't you don't you don't you don't fill your mind with so much of junks, and then you have high expectation, your fantasy is high, and then you come to your wife and start, you know. So those things are wrong. Hallelujah. Yes, it's your wife, yes, but you must communicate. 
you know so some of these things are so important to talk about because you see we live in the in the last days and there's so much information so much so much stirring of hormone so much of nudity everywhere and if you're not careful of the things we expose ourselves to it controls the way we live our life which is very wrong hallelujah so this is why i'm bringing this to us in this video you know sexual activity in the confinement of a marriage between a man and a woman it is supported and agreed by god but sexual activity outside the confinement of a man and a woman a man and his wife the bible says it is wrong and it says god will judge you know so these are the things i want to share with us in this video and i know that as we begin to bring them into um, perspective it will help us to live our life purity is so so important if you're a christian if you're not a christian this video is not for you you can live any way you want to live but if you're a christian it's a lifestyle that is expected of you a lifestyle of purity in marriage you know and these are the things i want to share with us thank you so very much and before i go please if you have not subscribed to my channel i will please encourage you to subscribe to my channel to like to turn on post notification and to share with friends until i see you in my next video thank you so very much and god bless you Shalom.